Jib it! Jib it! They may stretch our necks on all the gibbets in the land. They may turn every rock into a scaffold, every tree into a gallows, every home into a grave, and yet the words of that parchment can never die. The words of this declaration will live in the world long after our bones are dust. Sign that parchment. Sign if the next moment the gibbet's rope is about your neck. Sign if the next minute this hall rings with the clash of falling axes. Sign by all your hopes in life or death as men, as husbands, as fathers, as brothers. Sign your names to the parchment or be accursed forever. Sign, and not only for yourselves, but for all ages, for that parchment will be the textbook of freedom, the Bible of the rights of man forever. Your own hearts witness it. God proclaims it. Look at this strange band of exiles and outcasts suddenly transformed into a people. Look at your recent achievements, your Bunker Hill, your Lexington, and then tell me if you can that God has not given America to be free? It is not given to our poor human intellect to climb up to the skies and to pierce the counsel of the Almighty One. But methinks I stand among the awful clouds which veil the brightness of Jehovah's throne. Methinks I see the recording angel come trembling up to that throne and speak his dread message. Father, the old world is baptized in blood. Father, Look with one glance at thine eternal eye and behold evermore the terrible sight. Man trodden beneath the oppressor's feet. Nations lost in blood and murder and superstition. But hark. The voice of God speaks from out the awful cloud. Let there be light again. Tell my people, the poor and oppressed, to go out from the old world, from oppression and blood, and build my altar in the new. Yes. As I live, I believe that to be his voice. Yes. Were well, my soul trembling on the verge of eternity, were this hand freezing in death, were this voice choking in the last struggle, I would still implore you to remember this truth. God has given America to be free. As I sank into the gloomy shadows of the grave, with my last faint whisper, I would beg you to sign that parchment for the sake of those millions whose very breath is hushed in intense expectation as they look up to you for the awful words. You are free. <laughs>